Okay, good morning, and welcome to Ask the Doctor. I'm Dr. Michael Lang of the Lang Eye Institute and Fortify Vitamins. I've got a very welcome guest uh, in the studios with me. That is Dr. Karen Heck. Uh, she is uh, with Astoreal, a company that manufactures the top astaxanthin nutrient in the world. It's the astaxanthin that we use in our Fortify Focus supplement. Hey, thank you, Dr. Lang. Thank you for inviting me back. It's a pleasure to be back, and thank you all for tuning in. I'm the Scientific Affairs Manager for Astoreal, as Dr. Lang mentioned, and my background is in biochemistry and molecular biology. We're going to talk about specifically the most potent antioxidant in the world, or the most potent carotenoid antioxidant uh, called astaxanthin. Uh, we're going to dive into it and talk in depth about how we can utilize this nutrient to benefit the eye, but also the entire body. First, uh, I want to talk to Dr. Hack about astaxanthin. What actually is it? A lot of people that are new to the show, they go, wait, what, what the heck's astaxanthin? What is it? Uh, where does it come from? Yep. Astaxanthin is actually a nutrient that's found in the foods we eat, but it's really only found in um, some seafoods. And our best source for astaxanthin is wild salmon. So it's similar. It's in the carotenoid family. So it's related to lycopene from tomatoes and beta carotene from carrots. And it's what gives salmon that uh, nice red color. And it's actually the most powerful antioxidant found in nature. And it also has some anti inflammatory properties that we can talk about later. And it's best if you're going to consume it in your diet to eat wild Alaskan salmon versus farm-raised salmon. Absolutely. So farm-raised salmon if uh, are actually fed a synthetic form of astaxanthin. If they were not fed this form of astaxanthin, they would end up being a whitish-gray color, and that doesn't sell very well in the market. So uh, they do give them the synthetic astaxanthin, which does not have the same properties as natural astaxanthin. It is not as potent and ex- antioxidant, and it also has a slightly different structures. So it's absorbed and works differently in the body. And we're going to talk in a little bit about Fortify Focus, a supplement I developed that utilizes lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin, triple carotenoid therapy. And one reason it's so beneficial is these three carotenoids are really in the eye in different places, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So they work really well together because they're complementary. Uh, lutein and zeaxanthin works in the back of the eye in the macula and retina, whereas astaxanthin works in the front of the eye in what's known as the ciliary body. And if you'll just give me a second, I can mention the ciliary body is basically made up of muscles and ligaments that control the shape of the lens to adjust focus, as well as the ciliary processes which secrete aqueous humor. And that's an antioxidant-rich liquid that's also full of nutrients that helps to feed and protect the lens and the cornea at the front of the eye. And we know it works. I mean, I've got probably literally thousands of people taking the supplement Fortify Focus now. Me being a testimonial, I'm 56 years old. I can see 0.37 imprint. That's very small for people out there. That's 2020 up close without any reading glasses. You never see me in glasses. I see well in that's the true. distance. I see well up close. Um, so there's a lot of benefits. Uh, we call it Fortify Focus because it does improve focusing ability. There's studies that prove it improves focusing ability. Many of my patients have, uh, uh, have dramatically reduced their eye strain from the computer. And when you think about it, when we add the lutein and the zeaxanthin to it, those carotenoids also increase macula pigment density, so helping to filter the harmful blue light from the digital world we live in. So what could be better? One little pill you take that helps filter the harmful blue light and reduce the accommodative stress from the computer. Absolutely. The iPad, (laughs) the iPhone. (laughs) All those digital screens we're exposed to where the issues when we're exposed to digital screens quite uh, for prolonged periods of time, you know, and we see 65% of Americans reporting uh, symptoms of digital eye strain are both the blue light, but also the fact that you're overworking those ciliary muscles at the front of the eye and they get tired. And astaxanthin helps to improve the endurance of those muscles by um, basically neutralizing the free radical that are formed when those muscles are overworked. Remember, Fortify Focus is the only supplement in that industry that has both lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin. All right, we're going back to the phones. Sunny in Ocala, good morning, and thanks for holding. 
Good morning, Dr. Lang. Um, recently moved here from Connecticut, and I was on your website while I was up there. My job uh, was uh, entailed about 12 hours a day on a computer. Uh, two things that I noticed after about a month or so of using the photo plus focus was that the blurriness, which occurred as the day wore on, decreased the uh, significantly, which I thought was uh, absolutely great. Also, I had some watering in my eyes, which decreased, and some dryness in my eyes, which decreased. Second thing I noticed was the amount of sleep I was getting. I was a two to four hour uh, a night uh, 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 sleep uh, person. That was it. Um, and I noticed that on your website, you mentioned that blue light was kind of a... Uh, uh, the type of thing that was a deceptive, it made you think there was uh, sunlight when there really wasn't. So now I'm up to about eight to nine hours a night uh, of sleep yeah. with the triple carotenoids uh, that you have in the focus. And uh, uh, my dreams have ceased. Uh, some of them I'm sorry to see go, but we'll leave that uh, to an off-the-air conversation. But uh, in any event, the triple carotenoids coupled with... Uh, uh, the other benefits of focus, muscle fatigue. My muscle fatigue has decreased significantly in that. So I wanted to thank you for that. Um, and I wondered if you could expound on some of that. Well, that's interesting. Uh, I, I Obviously, you've been doing a little research on this, and you see some of the you know the benefits of this. Fortify focus, the things that you mentioned, absolutely, it does help eliminate this eye strain and the fatigue, especially working on the computer. And therefore, when you eliminate this fatigue on the computer, the overstress, you don't get this accommodative pseudospasm that causes you to have blurred distance vision. So I have a lot of patients that have better distance vision, better night vision, especially since they're using the Fortify Focus because they're not overstraining and overfocusing their eyes, throwing them into a pseudomyopic state. So, yes, that has benefited. I have many patients that have told me that. I personally have, have noticed that as well. Uh, as far as sleep goes, it's interesting because if we – help to block the blue light. You know, I developed a lens called blue light defense. When people wear this lens, they do sleep better. So it does make sense, but I'll let Dr. Uh, Heck chime in on this. Yeah, I think I think you've really hit on a few areas where we actually have 16 clinical studies that support basically what your testimonial is, which is, you know, decreased uh, temporary blurriness that you get from staring at a computer for a long time, stressing out those ciliary muscles and causing them to spasm, and the muscle fatigue that you mentioned. Uh, those are definitely areas that there are nine separate studies that show all of them showing positive effects on uh, accommodative range um, and also improving uh, near near point of sight as well as far point and improving the speed of focus actually even after a challenge uh, where you where you challenge the participants in the study to do some near work or digital screen work for a prolonged period of time so that's that's great to hear that out you know in the field uh, working for you and the other thing you mentioned was some dryness and and or even water Watering, and that actually um, is a symptom of the reduced blinking that we do when we're staring at a computer screen, something like five times less blinking staring at a digital screen, which does cause, you know, the ocular surface inflammation. And astaxanthin does have some anti-inflammatory properties, so there may be some linkage there, but there are actually no studies directly linking the two. What we do see is that it does improve the antioxidant capacity of the aqueous humor, um, and there is one study that shows it reduces the reactive oxygen species in tears, which are, are linked to causing inflammation as well. Fortify focus... If I recall now, and you should know more about this than even than me because you're in, in this industry, is the only supplement with all three carotenoids in this industry. That's right. Actually, um, it is, which is surprising since it is such a great combination that is a complete carotenoid formula for all of the eye, front and back. So you really have a unique formulation and Fortify Focus using both lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin all in one uh, and they work very well together they're not competing for absorption in the gut so they're all going to get absorbed in the gut travel through the cardiovascular circulatory system and get deposited because they're they're all uh, fat soluble nutrients so they all get past that blood retinal barrier and deposit in different areas of the eye 
to give you more complete protection and uh, nutrition for your eye. All right, let's go back to the phones. Steve in Clearwater, thanks for holding. Yeah, I had a, uh, one question. If people have had their gallbladder removed and don't have emulsification potentials, uh, would they get less anthracanthin and lutein in their diet to the tissues? And number two, is astaxanthin metabolized, or does it just go in as astaxanthin and leaves as anthazanthin, or do, does it actually go through a metabolic chain? Uh, does it change to other other compounds? And is there anything you can do to regenerate used anthracanthin? Nice. I love your biochemistry questions there. Thank you for those. So uh, first of all, um, the emulsification question is a really good one. It, since astaxanthin is a fat-soluble nutrient, emulsification is important in order to maximize uh, absorption, which is why we always recommend that you take astaxanthin together with a meal that contains some kind of fat in it to encourage um, you know, bile secretion to improve emulsification. Some of the emulsification starts in the stomach and then later is completed in the small intestine. Um, we do have actually multiple forms of astaxanthin, some of which are uh, emulsified uh, powdered forms. So those would go really well in a kind of a, a protein shake, for example. Uh, or you can just add the astaxanthin oil to a, a protein shake to help improve absorption. Uh, your other question was about how astaxanthin is actually modified. So that's one of the differences between uh, natural and synthetic forms. Natural astaxanthin is esterified. And what that means basically is there's just a little uh, two little molecules attached to the oxygens on the ends of the astaxanthin that helps to emulsify the astaxanthin naturally. And this is how um, astaxanthin is made in nature. And when it gets absorbed, those are actually removed from the astaxanthin and Astaxanthin gets absorbed in what's known as the free form, which is the form that fits into your membranes in the best possible way. So it fits actually spanning the membrane from end to end, providing more complete protection, but on either side of the membrane as well as inside the membrane, which is unique to astaxanthin and its structure. All right. When I was researching astaxanthin to use as a nutrient in our Fortify Focus, I looked at all the companies, and there's a few other companies that do extract astaxanthin from algae. Uh, but I determined I wanted the best, and from what the research I did, I picked uh, Fuji, which is the company that uh, owns Astoreal and the company that uh, Dr. Heck works for. And there were some valid reasons why I picked uh, uh, this particular company versus others, and I want Dr. Heck to expand on why I call Astoreal the gold standard of astaxanthin in the world today. Tell them about your manufacturing process, how it's different from just open fields where they're grown, and how it's actually grown in the United States. Yeah, well, you, you, you've touched on our provenance, which is, you know, Fuji is a, a pharmaceutical company, and so we follow the pharmaceutical type standard when we grow in our manufacturing facility, which is in Moses Lake, Washington. So all of our algae is grown there in the U.S. in fully enclosed indoor photobioreactors and it's a proprietary method allowing us to HEPA filter the air which is the same kind of filtration that is used in hospitals and we have reverse osmosis or triple filtered water which we use not just for growing the algae but also for cleaning all of our equipment. And the reason that's important is because it provides the cleanest most controlled environment for growing the algae and it contrasts to other ways of growing algae which are mostly outdoor methods. Of course when you're growing things outdoors you have a lot less control. You obviously can't filter the air, which leaves you exposed to um, air pollution and persistent polyaromatic hydrocarbons, which some of which have been linked at certain concentrations uh, to, car uh, to being carcinogens. And the other thing is you can't control the weather, right? Sunlight, productivity of the algal growth is affected. And what that means is you have to harvest a little bit earlier sometimes to prevent contamination and also... Um, because that means that there's going to be some chlorophyll or green left in your algae. And what you really want is to harvest them when they're fully red, have the most astaxanthin content that you can get out of them so that the stability is not affected by the chlorophyll contamination. And we can achieve this in an indoor environment. And that's what makes us part of what makes us special. We're also the most studied brand 
of astaxanthin out there. And we pioneered the market. So we've been at it for 30 years. So we really have a lot of technical expertise and research expertise in this area. Uh, we, we made the scientific foundation that supports astaxanthin as a nutrient. Uh, let's talk briefly about skin health and astaxanthin. Yeah, absolutely. So the, we, we touched sort of earlier on two other benefits of astaxanthin, skin health and muscle health. So we can go over skin health first. Essentially, this is the largest organ in our body. It, it is constantly exposed to the environment. And that means uh, UV-induced uh, reactive oxygen species, which cause inflammation, which cause a degradation of the collagen and elastin networks in that deeper layer of skin. So you can take astaxanthin Xanthin orally with Fortify Focus. And at six milligrams a day, we've seen improvement in hydration and elasticity. And there's some evidence of reduced wrinkles or fine lines as well. And that's because you're actually protecting that protein layer in the deeper layers of skin from um, being broken down or degraded by free radicals, which are formed when you're stressing out your skin. And this can be seasonal change, low humidity, or exposure to the sun. So we've definitely seen benefits in that area. Uh, when it comes to muscle, you can understand the function already by what we've spoken of in terms of the eye and the ciliary muscles. So, so the, the muscle in the eye, it requires a lot of energy to focus anywhere closer than 20 feet. That muscle contracts and is working hard. And where it's getting that energy is from the mitochondria and those muscles. Muscles are very rich in mitochondria because they demand a lot of energy. And astaxanthin is a mitochondrial nutrient. So it actually targets the mitochondria, deposits in the mitochondrial membranes. And the reason that's great is because mitochondria, when they're producing energy, are also producing free radicals as a byproduct of that energy production mechanism. So astaxanthin is poised in the mitochondria to neutralize those free radicals and preserve mitochondrial function so you're getting more efficient energy production. And that's why you talked about some marathon runners who can benefit from this. And that's part of the reason. We're neutralizing free radicals during exercise, which helps improve endurance. Fantastic. Yes, lots of uh, my patients that are taking it. I got a lot of people taking Fortify Focus. They're noticing improved skin health, and the athletes are noticing, uh, uh, you know, benefit from that aspect of improved recover, recoveration, recuperation. That's hard mm -hmm. to say. Uh, recovery. They're just not as sore as to working out, but um, also more stamina, more endurance. Yep. And so most of my athletes are taking two a day, and I usually recommend they combine that with our Fortify Super Protein, which is a uh, non-denatured whey protein concentrate and combine the two uh, pre-workout and they can combine it post-workout. Yeah, actually, I'm glad you mentioned the post-workout because that's what I find the most uh, useful, but beneficial for me personally is that there's a second wave of free radicals that forms after exercise when those muscles are torn up and the white blood cells come in producing tons of activity and free radicals to help repair the damaged muscle. And that's what causes that second day soreness or delayed onset muscle soreness. And astaxanthin is there still after exercise to neutralize those free radicals and reduce exercise induced inflammation via that free radical mechanism. So uh, definitely the soreness is, is alleviated and uh, I find that I can recover and come back to my exercise routine a lot sooner this way. Beautiful thing, Astaxanthin. We're going to have to have you back for another show soon. Always happy to be back. And uh, so it's interesting, you know, um, Astaxanthin has a culmination of many, many benefits, not only for the eye, uh, but also for the skin, uh, for the muscles. So it is something that if we, you know, that's why uh, Astaxanthin found in food, wild Alaskan salmon is really a power food, but we just don't eat enough of it. So, anyway, we're going to plan on having you back as a guest very soon. I want to thank Dr. Karen Heck for being a guest and Astor Real for being a guest on Ask the Doctor. With that, we're out of here. Have a great day, and God bless you. Mm -hmm.